in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few tips and tricks how to play against every killer a little bit more efficiently. But before we get started, hello, welcome in or welcome back. My name is Sharon and I'm a legacy free Neomain with nearly 9,000 hours in Dead by Daylight. I primarily stream DVD on twitch.tv slash Sharon and I upload consistently on this YouTube channel with lots of different DVD content. I hope you enjoy your stay. Let's get started with the video. Before I get started going down the list of killers, I do want to put a disclaimer here that these tricks don't always work. Some people main their killers so insanely well that they have learned the killer's weaknesses and play accordingly towards it. But I hope this information will help you a little bit when going against certain killers you struggle with. First up, the pick. If she crouches by a loop wanting to use her dash attack on you, the best thing you can do is just run away from the loop towards another one. Either she has to cancel her dash and uncrouch, which takes time, or she continues to dash, loses you or doesn't reach you with her dash and you can be on your merry way. Second up, Trapper. When facing a trapper, look onto the ground more to see if there's a trap. Well duh, but I say this with a reason. Often trappers place their traps in either in the pallet, which allows you to throw the pallet over the trap and fold, or they place the trap so far out of the pallet that you can sneak past it. And if he starts to trap during your chase, like in an area where you're looping, just hold shift W and run towards another loop. One of the biggest counters to Rafe is long loops, as he cannot easily uncloak and cloak to catch up on you, minus if he has strong add-ons. Also, it's smart to consistently look around and try to spot his cloaked body, which allows you to put distance between the two of you or even objects, vaults, pallets, anything. Baba. The best thing to do against a Baba is hugging objects and structures the most. Because if he does use his chainsaw, he either has to risk bumping into them or take wider angles, giving you more distance to run away from. When around windows, try to use them as much as possible, as he typically doesn't have enough time to wrap his chainsaw up before you vault the window. Trickster. Using the zigzag movement is very important against Trickster, as it will be harder for him to hit all of his knives, and still allows you to keep distance between the two of you. Also try to prioritize loops with higher walls, cause then it's almost nearly impossible for him to use his knives as full. Nurse. The biggest counter to Nurse is to break line of sight, as she will have to predict more where you are instead of blinking right on top of you. Distance is important too, so try not to stay in a loop for all too long. But Nurse is the strongest killer in the game and if you're against a really good Nurse, you're pretty much doomed regardless of what you do. But this will help with mediocre Nurses or bad Nurses for sure. Plague. I advise against cleansing before you get two to three generators done. But if you must cleanse, the biggest advice I have for you is to cleanse at a fountain that is very far away from anything in the game, such as corner fountains. This means she has to travel the most distance to get her power and partially wastes it whilst going back and finding people. Furthermore, she's just an M1 killer. You can try your best to dodge her puke by crouching as it will delay your puke timer. But apart from that, there's nothing much to it. Artist. The best way to counter her is to fake out her crow ability. By this I mean, once you get close in front of the crow that she has placed, keep running towards it, just before you're in front of it. Then, on the last second, turn around into the other direction with a spin. A lot of artists will have charged their crow by then, which has missed you and allows you to go to the original spot that the crow used to be in, without any issues. Also, did you know that when you are infected by the crow and you have quite the distance on the artist, you can jump in and out of the locker and the infection is gone. Also, flashlights help towards getting rid of crows as well. Shine your flashlight on your teammate or on the crow spawn and it disappears as well. Clown. With the clown, you kind of have to try and pre-drop pallets when he's decently close, as you won't make a full loop when he affects you by the gas. As long as you pre your pallets, you can try to run away to another loop. Also, try to break line of sight with the clown. When he cannot see you, he cannot hit you with the bottles. Then he cannot catch up on you and you can get further distance away from him. 
D twins. When Victor is attached to you, hold him as long as you can. Without Victor, Charlotte is just an M1 killer. This allows people to do gens better and loop Charlotte easier. Also, try crouching after vaulting or dropping a pallet. This might cause Victor to fly over you when jump attacking, allowing you to either kick him or run away. The Huntress. It's very important to not get yourself stuck between two walls or objects. Otherwise, you can't try to spin her hatchet. So, try to fake vaulting or dropping pallets, which is the same concept as the artist with her crows. Also, line of sight and higher loops are a good counter to hunters as well. The Dredge. If two lockers are next to each other, only lock one locker instead of two. This is because when he's teleporting to the locker, it automatically spawns him into the locked one and not the open one. When he's placing his husk, you have two choices. Either you leave to a nearby loop if there's something close by, or you try to fake him out to go to his husk before you get there. Ghostface. Be aware of your surroundings. Instead of looking at one place, just consistently look around and keep your eyes peeled. When you see him, try to run, break line of sight, and then try to break him out of his stalking. Sadako. If you're on a generator and there's a TV next to it, the best solution is to turn off the television and afterwards deliver your tape to the other one. This just makes her an M1 killer and much easier to deal with. The Doctor. Long loops are a must against the Doctor, because even if he shocks you, he won't be able to catch up before the effect wears off. If he however is close to you, or you have a shorter loop, pre-dropping the pallet or quickly vaulting the window without trying to fake it out is a must. Demogorgon. Avoid getting yourself into narrow spaces. Instead, try to fake going towards them and then spin towards the other side when he's about to dash. This will make him miss his dash onto you. Also, only cleanse portals in important places, such as by hooks or generators. He only has a limited amount, so if he places portals at useless spots, he can't use his portals efficiently. Legion. For the Legion, it's best to avoid sticking around with other teammates, as this will make his power only stronger. Also, keep an eye out on how many people he has in the mending mode. If he has already 1 plus people in the mending state, don't be afraid of trying to stun him, as this forces him to reset his entire frenzy process. The Hillbilly. Shorter loops are Billy's number one enemy, as he typically doesn't have enough time to rev up his chainsaw and hit you before you're around the corner already. So try to be aware of that and use shorter loops as long as you can, instead of throwing the pallet instantly. The Oni. Delaying the first hit is very important, even if you waste a good pallet for it. Avoiding that the Oni can have his power as long as possible will limit his playmaking ability. When hurt, you should try to heal as soon as possible, so you're not just dropping blood orbs around the ground consistently. Pyramid Head. Faking a direction is the number one play against him, whether it be towards a pallet, vault, or a certain area. Baiting out his ground attack allows you to loop him longer, easier, or leave the loop entirely. If you see his trial of torment on the ground, if possible, make sure to crouch through it. Otherwise, it will make you scream and allows you to be sent to the cage, which saves him time. Nemesis. Crouching is a very strong counter towards Nemesis. When vaulting, dropping a pallet, or just when there are objects between the two, try to crouch. Crouching often leads to him not connecting the tentacle with you, which means he doesn't get his power as easily, which means you don't get infected. Win-win situation for, well, you. The Blight. I'ma be honest, this is a hard killer, even for me. Blight is one of the strongest killers in the game. The best thing you can do, in my opinion, is putting yourself between loops and objects as much as possible, as this will force him to navigate between all sorts of rubbish. But if you have better feedback, leave it down in the comment section. I would love to read it, and I'm sure others would love it too. The Hag. She kind of has the same advice as Trapper. Look onto the ground more to avoid the traps. If possible, crouch over them or get rid of them with a flashlight. If she starts putting a trap in a loop, just run away to a new one. 
hopefully next time you're gonna be by the loop you either a can trigger it yourself because you're not in a chase anymore or b it has already been triggered or removed myers pay attention and look around if you see my stock try to break line of sight higher loops are always more efficient as he doesn't have time to stalk you as much as he would normally onto lower loops the death slinger he's kind of the same as hunters and the artist high loops are very efficient against him try to avoid being between two walls or objects next to each other as much as possible and work hard on breaking the line of sight pinheads looking behind you is extremely important against him as you can see when he's gonna spawn his portal for a chain when you see the animation, locate the portal and fake going into a certain direction. This will allow you to dodge the chain much easier. As for the box, try to hold the box as long as possible before the chain hunt starts. Also, try to solve it when Pinhead is busy, like in a chase or hooking someone. Freddy, if you don't want to deal with the snares that he can put down, you should try to visit the dream clock as soon as possible to snap yourself out of the dream world or ask a teammate if you're already in the dream world when he places a snare which you can see by an animation you too can run away to another loop and last up spirit spirit is another tough one where more experienced players will be harder to find a precise counter towards listening to where the spirit is facing is ideal this way you know which angle she's coming from but if you don't have a great headset like me or you have a harder time hearing, that's gonna be difficult. What I always try to do is run in a straight line towards a loop or a window and then slowly crouch walk backwards. It might not always work, but that's the best I got for you. And with that being said, these are all the main tips and tricks I can give you against all the killers of Dead by Daylight. Now I can imagine that I must have missed a lot of tips and tricks. And for both the sake of this video not being longer, and well, I don't have all the information in the world. If you do have some tips and tricks for specific killers that I did not mention, please write them down in the comment section. And that was it for today's video. I hope the video has helped you and you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for being here. As always, I'm asking you to do the things that every YouTuber always asks you to do. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And see you all next time. Bye bye.